The media was rife with reports Tuesday of a pending deal between Israel and Hezbollah that will reportedly take place within 30 days, whereby Israel will release prisoner Samir Kuntar, serving a life sentence for the 1979 murders of Danny Haran and his daughter and a border policeman, as well as four other Lebanese prisoners and the bodies of ten Hezbollah fighters killed in the Second Lebanon War, all in exchange for IDF reservists Ehud Goldwasser and Eldad Regev. In a speech broadcast before thousands of supporters in South Beirut Monday, Hezbollah leader Sheikh Hassan Nasrallah said prisoner Samir Kuntar, incarcerated in Israel, will soon be returned to Lebanon, hinting of a possible breakthrough in negotiations that could lead to a prisoner exchange. Prior to his appearance, Reuters claimed that the recent breakthrough was due to discussions conducted between the German mediator and Hezbollah officials in Beirut last week. Israelis remain divided in their opinion. The issue for me personally is, is that it appears that at least in the, the recent future or the recent past, we are always negotiating into a place of weakness. It, it is a, maybe a step forward that uh, there is some negotiation with uh, our worst enemies. That, uh, there is a, a possibility to, to speak and not only since the abduction of the two reservists in July 2006, Hezbollah has refused to release any details of their condition and has barred international Red Cross officials from accessing the soldiers. While Israel's official position is based on assessments that the two are still alive, military intelligence assessments have placed doubts on the possibility that they survived the rocket attack on their jeep.